Hey everybody, welcome back to Fixing Things. This is my daughter's uh, Dodge Caravan, Chrysler Town and Country Caravan thing. But on this episode, we gotta fix her water leak. She's got an oil leak. And the last time I had it in the garage, I didn't have the lift. And so she's been topping it off, checking it once a week or so, but it, and we put a couple things, a stop leak down in the radiator. It did slow it down. We're gonna see if we can't fix the actual problem today. So it's on the back side of the motor, probably the heater hoses. We'll see what it takes. We have to run to the store and get some parts. That's what we gotta do. I can't have my daughter's car running out of water or oil. Also, she's been complaining that the motor has been uh, burning up uh, a lot of gas going down the road. I'm thinking maybe the air filter is really dirty. So we're gonna check on all these things, see what we can do by getting this thing uh, up to speed. Definitely the water leak. And all right, let's get underneath here and take a look, see what we can see. All right, one of the things I see right away is there's antifreeze coming down off the axle shaft. Dripping on the ball joint onto the wheel, just sitting here. And all through this is wet, but the side of the motor is dry from antifreeze anyways. Let's see if we can get a look at the water pump. There's the culprit right there. So you can see the bottom of the pulley is wet on the inside and there's a drip right on the bottom of the water pump. But not really on the, the gasket or anything like that. Also there's this pipe right here but the pipe has got some oil on it but it's in good shape so that tells me it needs a water pump that's not good because these Chrysler town and countries is not easy every anytime you got a front-wheel drive car and you got to work on the front of the motor the front of the motor is on the passenger side of the car Let's get with it and take it off. Nineteen miller meter uh, six point socket. Start taking the wheel off. So right in here, this floppy thing is a, an inner shield. And take this off because it gets you um, more access to the front side of the motors. because Chrysler doesn't know how to make anything like putting the motor in sideways in this minivan and they put the tensioner hole where you're supposed to put a, a wrench in it I have to use a pry bar to get the thing off rather than using the correct tool because the correct tool won't fit so just put a pry bar in Take the belt off, like so. Now you can get the belt off of the, the pulley, the water pump. All right, so this tube that goes underneath the crankshaft pulley is the lower radiator hose. 
it's below the radiator. So if you drain the radiator, you still have lots of antifreeze in this. So I'm gonna just attempt to take the lower radiator hose off. That will drain everything in the system. So because Chrysler doesn't know how to make anything. And that's just a fact. They used to make pretty good cars back in the day. Not anymore. All right, so now I got the radiator hose off and this is the lowest point in the system. All the antifreeze is out. Wasn't much in there. So, first thing I gotta do is we're gonna take this bracket off that's welded to the, and it's just like, it's got a little, maybe a 10 or 12 millimeter bolt there and two little bolts right over here. It's a, actually a 13 millimeter. I thought there was one on the back side, but there's not. That means it's got a probably got an O-ring on it. And it may have some antifreeze in this thing too. Let's see if we can't pry it down. Angle it down here a little bit. Keep the bucket underneath it. So it's got a it's got an O-ring gasket on it right there. I'll stick a pry bar in there. Get one loose, rotate it. It's not four, it's just three. One, two, just three bolts. All right, so now that's off. I'm fairly sure that this will not come off. I bent the brake line, it might, but I don't want to do that. All right, we'll start taking these little bolts out. All right, there's about five or six little 10 millimeter bolts on it.
10 millimeter means go easy because it could break. And I'm going to have to move you out of the way to get the next one because you're stuck right in the way. All right, I got all the bolts off. And now the pump is loose. I still don't want to come out of there. I have no idea how to get that out of there. All right, so I got the water pump out of there and you had, you had there's no way to get it out without cracking the fins on the water pump. The frame of the car sits on here. No matter how much you turn this thing, there's not enough room between the frame and the impeller on the motor. Not only that, I snapped this one off. So what I'm gonna attempt to do is grind this one down flat to see if it gives me a little bit more room. So I tried putting this one on and it did not have room. All right, I took quite a bit of the material down. I'm gonna take it over there and see if I can fit it in. All right, so I got it in just barely. Just by grinding this tip down just enough, it will slip in without putting any pressure on the impellers. Chrysler, you do not know how to make a car. You used to know how to make cars. You don't know how to make cars. This is a piece of junk. The aftermarket water pump is superior uh, than the factory one. The factory one is cheap. It's the, this here is, is extremely heavy. I'm probably gonna grind this, take this over to the grinder and grind this down a little more, just to give me some extra play so I don't lose the gasket. I'm gonna glue the glass gasket in so it don't pop out, because I can tell you that's gonna be a nightmare if the gasket pops out while you're trying to get this in there. And and put a lot of goop on it because I broke one of the bolts. And if it's, I can tell you right now, if if the water pump leaks, this car is going to the heap yard in the sky. All right, I got two bolts started. Let me get the rest of them. And we know that the one over here is broken. So that's not gonna happen. Let's just hope that, uh, and we'll pray over it, 
that the rest of those bolts hold it. All right. So now that I got the pump tight, it's a 10 millimeter, don't want to get it tight, too tight. Chrysler would have made this thing so much easier if they just would have put a dent right here. Just put a dent and the pump would have just slid right out. But their engineers are not smart. No. All right, now it's time to get the pulley back together. See if we can't get this belt back on. Came off on the very top one. We can't push it over. Like that. Right, belt's back on. Better double check though, make sure it's on. All the pulleys up there, it's all on all the grooves. Alright, now it's time to get the crossover tube there for the water line that we put on. All right, I went ahead and smeared some R RTV stuff on this just for safe keepings. I didn't like the way the rubber seal looked. Now we'll put the cover back on. Hey everybody, it's the next day and I got the car all put back together, got it running, started building up the temperature, then this gave loose. So I put it back together and I said it wasn't looking quite right and I put some uh, silicone on it gasket maker stuff and probably if I would have let it set up it probably would have worked but I didn't so I went out it was late the places were open till about nine o'clock last night nobody had one so I ordered one 10 o'clock the next day new part now let's try putting it back together. But after it was warming up, I noticed some, a lot of condensation coming out the tailpipe. 
and a lot of black soot coming out the tailpipe. So the car is probably running rich. I don't know, maybe it's a catalytic converter or a head gasket maybe messing up. Uh, I do got some blue devil. I may throw some blue devil down inside it. But let's get this thing back together, see if we can get this thing not leaking any water. This thing is, I, I don't like this car. I don't like this car. All right, I just put the new O-ring on it. I'm gonna put a little bit of grease so it slides in nice and easy. And see if we can't slide this thing back up in the hole. glasses on so I can see. All right, so it's been running for about 45 minutes. That's what they uh, ask when you put the blue devil in. So this is what I put in it. Blue Devil, uh, radiator and block sealer. We put a brand new water pump on it. Brand new O-ring around the gasket that blew out the seal around the water inlet thingy. And she says it was running rough, and it was running rough. Uh, some of that's probably because it was running hot and carboned up and all that stuff. And so I put a, a can of Berryman's in it, Italian tuna, and it seems to be running a lot smoother now. There's no leaks, and I think I'm gonna take it up to the, fill it up for gas for her. That's the least I can do, that's my baby girl. I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Fixing Things. <laughs> Uh, please like and subscribe and uh, all that kind of stuff I gotta make another video here today this is a should have been just a one day video but I couldn't order that, that o-ring when it gave out ah, it was hard to find so I had to get it ordered came in the next day at the uh, one of the supply houses close by. That's going to be it for this episode of Fixing Things. Hey, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Oh. It was rough. I don't like these front wheel drive cars. I don't like you can't get to the things. You've seen that the water pump actually had to break the, the, front, the fins to get it off. I had to grind the tip of the uh, water pump off to get the new one in. I, I'm not, I'm not a, fan, a fan of these things. Someone said that you need to drop the back of the motor and it gives you the room. Hey, I'm trying to put a water pump on, now replace the motor. Uh, God bless each and every one of you. I'll see you next time on Fixing Things with Pastor Bill. I think it's doing good. That's about the fifth time fan cycle. I think we got it. We can go fill it up with gas. God bless you.